Demons of the Punjab, the sixth episode of Doctor Who series 11. The doc- yeah. Yaz asked the Doctor to take her back in time to see when her grandmother Umbreen was young, so she can try and figure out some of the kind of mysteries of her own past, such as a cracked watch that her mother, that her grandmother had given to her. However, when they go back there, they discover mysterious creatures on the land and find themselves in the middle of the partition of India and Pakistan. And they have to try and figure out a way so that Yaz can kind of work out the mysteries of her grandmother's past and also try and figure out what's happening upon the land. First of all, let me get my overall saying on this. Personally, I think this is another one of the really strong episodes of Doctor Who Series 11. I don't know if it's quite as strong as Rosa, but it's in the same kind of level. And I do think it's a very good episode. I mean, it kind of plays similar to a Series 1 episode, but much stronger. The Series 1 episode being Father's Day. However, with Father's Day, it was that Rose wanted to go back and see her father before he died. In Yatta's case, her grandmother is still alive, and she just wants to find out kind of more about her. I feel, though, this was kind of done very strongly, and something else I'd like to quickly get out of the way. One thing, I, I think by this point Jodie Whittaker has grown on me. I see her as the Doctor. I've found her version of the Doctor. I love it. But the thing I feel that Jodie Whittaker's Doctor is simply very good at, and it might just be from her portrayal, it may be from the writing of Chris Chibnall and the other writers, but one thing I feel that Jodie Whittaker's Doctor does very well is when she's put in situations... She does very well with bad circumstances, and that's really been portrayed in every episode of her tenure so far. I mean, right in her first episode, the uh, the woman who fell to Earth, at the very end of the episode, when they have to deal with kind of Grace's death, to just watch someone who we've known throughout the episode die, and the way they have to deal with grief, it it's very sad, but it's also very believable. I mean, it's not shown up so much in the ghost monuments, but another place... As I said, the comparison to this episode with Rosa, it's a set of circumstances from human history that happened, and it was just a very unfortunate set of circumstances. Something that a very bad, very bad events that people had to go through in order to get where they were, and yeah, that's also shown in other episodes of the series. For example, in Arachnids in the UK when the Doctor realises that the mother spider has grown too big and now it's essentially killing her, that is a very bad... It's hard to explain, but the spiders didn't ever mean to become like this. I mean, yes, they've done bad things and they are ultimately causing the death of some people, but in the end, when you look at this kind of monstrous creature and realise that... It didn't ever want to become like this. It's just a very unfortunate set of circumstances. And while I personally thought it was the weakest episode of the series, the Saranga conundrum had the same thing. Kind of towards the end of the episode, when Eve dies, and they have to kind of continue on, and eventually they say a little prayer for her, that's what Jodie Whittaker's, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor seems to do very well. I mean, as I said, there's only one episode that doesn't really fit, and that's the Ghost Monument, but that was made just to get the TARDIS back. But ultimately, she does kind of grief very well. Someone who just looks at the situation, says that we have to have our time, we have to be sad, but then we ultimately have to kind of move on with our lives. And that's ultimately what I feel Jodie Whittaker's Doctor does very well this episode. I mean, okay, some... Some of the other elements of this episode I do feel do very well. As I said, it takes place during the partition of India, which, like Rosa, was a very unfortunate set of circumstances, and the, the Doctor has ultimately found herself in a position where they can't interfere, they have to let everything happen out. I mean, like 
David Tennant's episode, The Fires of Pompeii. It, it was a very unfortunate set of circumstances, but ultimately it did happen, and they have to allow it to play out. Yeah, other things that I found rather enjoyed, the demons of the episode, the Vajarians, they are kind of aliens, and they do appear at first to be hostile, but then the Doctor reveals that the Vajarians are hailed as kind of the most deadly assassins in the universe, and then she comes across the two and asks, why are you doing this? Who are you even sent out to kill? And they went, we're not here to kill anyone. Yeah, we abandoned our assassin mission ages ago. We, we're here to kind of honour those who kind of fell or were killed. We're here to kind of store, store them and remember them. And honestly, I didn't see that coming, but I kind of like it. Creatures that used to be kind of deadly assassins, used to be killers, now saying, no, we don't want to be killers anymore. I actually feel that's a, that's a rather nice twist. Also, with Umbreen, they show her in the episode that she's got a map of the world, and she says, you know what, I said to myself that one day I'm going to point at this map, and wherever I point to, that's where I'm going to go. So you end up going from India and Pakistan to Sheffield. <laughs> that, to me, is hilarious, but... I mean, no offence to people from Sheffield. You, you're very nice people, but, yeah, just someone from a place that we all consider so exotic, and suddenly she ends up in Sheffield. And she actually thinks, thinks that sounds exotic. I mean, that to me, it's funny, but it's also kind of rather nice, I admit. I mean, I do feel, as I said, I do feel the strongest points of the episode are kind of towards the end when kind of the events start happening and we know somebody has, we know her husband that she just married, that he has to die. I mean, it's unfortunate, but that's ultimately what happened during the partition of India. Kind of a lot of people ended up dying, ended up being killed and it it's heart-wrenching, but I do feel that's kind of a strong point of the episode and a strong point of Jodie's Doctor. Kind of, being placed in very kind of very sad, very bad circumstances and ultimately having to kind of live through it. I feel that's what Doctor Who is doing very well at this point and that's what Jodie is ultimately doing. A very bad set of circumstances and just having to live through them. What more can you really say? But yeah, I do think this is another one of the really strong episodes. I think it's kind of right up there with Rosa. Maybe not quite as high as Rosa, but kind of definitely a very strong episode. And, yeah. Anyway, if next week looks like they might be going back to the kind of comedy side of things with an episode called Kablam. <laughs> I'll be interesting to see. Until then, <laughs> let's, get, let's get to it.